good morning. It is another freezing, freezing cold day, hence the hats. We've had to go with practicality over style today. Um, I've never thought that beanies suit me. I always feel like other people look really nice in them, but I just feel silly when I wear them. But maybe that's just because I'm not used to myself in one. Um, anyway, we are up and out and on our way. What, Mum? Mum's pointing at all of the cobwebs that are completely frozen. That shows you how many spiders are actually <laughs> yes. all around you that you don't notice. It looks like someone's done that for like a Halloween display, yeah. doesn't it? Look at this one. But yeah, this is how cold it is. It looks very kind of frosty and misty today as well. Anyway, we are up and out and we are on our way to get mum her morning coffee and me my morning cup of English breakfast tea. Every single day has to start with an English breakfast tea. And then I think we'll just do a bit of browsing around Cheltenham. And then I think we might try and go to the Ivy for some lunch because it's not too far from my sister's. And then this afternoon, we're gonna go to one of mum and dad's favorite um, places just to get a drink. And it's also right next door to Holland Cooper. And I have an eyeing up their kind of festive jumpers. So would be rude not to have a quick look in there. And then we might just have an evening in tonight. I'm not too sure, but we'll just have to see where the day takes us. ultimate goals in life would be to have a library in my house that has one of these um, ladders up to the top shelves and this one's really lovely because it also just curves all the way around. Right, so we're back in the car now. We had a good wander around Cheltenham, did a tiny bit of shopping. We actually both got matching hats, so we can show you them later. Um, and now we've just hopped back in the car to do a five minute drive over to a place called Dunkerton's, um, which I think, is it a brewery, Mum? It's a side shop, but I imagine it is. I don't even oh. know. It's kind of like a deli slash bar sort of thing, but I've actually never been, but Mum says it's really um, cozy and nice in the winter. So we're gonna head there and hope to get some lunch and maybe have another mulled wine or a mulled cider even mum. Yes, good idea. And then it's right next door to your turning right. I thought you were just waving <laughs> at, the, at everyone. Um, and then it's right next door to Holland Cooper. So I think we'll have to have a bit of a browse. And then we've just been discussing that I think I'm gonna cook dinner for us tonight. And I'm going to make, I think I said this on Instagram actually, not on here. You know the M&S pasta sauce that I've been going on and on about, the like kind of fennelly, spicy tomato sauce. The other day I had a go at making it at home and it turned out really, really well. I feel like it's very, very similar to the M&S one. So I said to mum that I'll make that for us tonight. And am I going? I am going the right way, yeah. yeah. Um, and I can show you the recipe for us as well. And that, I think, is the plan for the rest of the day. So a bit of a chilled day today. It's absolutely freezing though, um, which I feel like is all I've said for the last well, since Vlogmas started, because we're having a definite cold snap. Although I was hearing on the radio, Mum, that this is not supposed to last. I think by the end of the week, it's meant to be a bit warmer oh, right. again. Yeah. But the weather lady on the radio was saying it will get cold again before Christmas, so we still have some hope of snow at Christmas, which I'm always holding out hope for. Um, I think, have I ever, have we ever had snow on Christmas? I must have done, Mum. Or... I don't honestly know. If we have, it'd be once. I was talking to Adele, who does my nails the other day, about how snow days when you're at school were the 
best thing ever. You'd wake up in the morning. Do you, you must remember this, Mum, yes, when we'd be, yeah. Mum, do you think it's snowed enough? Do you think it's snowed enough? Is that enough snow? Do you think school's going to be cancelled? Have you had the letter? Have you had the phone call? Or <laughs> yeah. not the letter? The oh yeah, they used to email you, or how did they used yeah, to tell you? Right, yeah, yeah, email. Yeah. Um, like a letter from the head teacher saying that school's cancelled and they were the best days. And if you're really lucky, you might get a couple of days off in a row. Um, but I don't remember the last time we had that much snow. Definitely not this year. No. Has there been? I don't well, think so. Well, no, not at Christmas. I mean, we may have had the snow, but it's been, as you say, before Christmas. Or like February Christmas. sometimes. Yeah. But all the seasons seem to be pushed back because you know how it was quite mild until, well, until this week, really. It's been quite mild, hasn't mm. it? Although... November the 5th was cold. Not this cold, but it was cold. No, it wasn't this cold though. Because no. normally this is like bonfire night weather, isn't it? Where yeah. That wasn't the case. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're about to get to Dunkerton, so let's go get some lunch. Wow, look how Christmassy Holland Keeper is. They've got a huge Christmas tree outside the front, but then also, look at this, should we go around and have a proper look at it? I think we're actually going to grab some lunch before we go into Holland Keeper because um, we're both a bit hungry, but we'll definitely be coming back. Look how nice and Christmassy that is. salads look. I'm thinking although it's a freezing cold day we might have to do some salads combined with maybe some chips or something like that to warm us up as well but it looks like they've got really nice kind of chickpea ones. This one looks really good as well doesn't it mum? That looks really nice. We also had no idea that they sell Dales for products here. Um, mum and dad have been telling me to come for ages and said I would really like it. Don't know why it's taken me this long it's such a lovely place to come. What, don't feel like cooking. There's always the, oh, um, yeah. yeah, we were just discussing what we might have for dinner. Yeah, there's some really delicious looking soups and things here. I think once Mum and I have had our lunch, we might come in here and do a little bit of shopping. Maybe pick up some bits to have for dinner as well. smells delicious and then we also went for two mulled ciders and we got a mix of the three salads it's all kind of laid on top of each other but we went for the quinoa salad the roasted butternut squash salad and then the kind of broccoli pesto one as well which all looks so yummy and we thought we'd come back into the deli and do a little bit of shopping and see if there's anything that we can get from here for dinner. Otherwise, we'll pop to Waitrose after this. I think we're gonna get one of these because that sounds really yummy. And then I think also for mum, we might get one of these um, chicken broths as well. They also have some really lovely looking um, tortelloni. Oh, these ones are vegan as well. Pumpkin and sage or pea and shallot. I've also just spotted a very rare find because they do this vegan basil pesto and it's made with extra virgin olive oil rather than sunflower oil. So I'm definitely gonna stock up on a couple of those um, because it's really hard to find pesto that's not made with sunflower oil. This is the best scent to burn in your kitchen because it's such a lovely fresh kind of smell. Um, my sister bought me the diffuser, I think for Christmas a couple of years ago. And it's so lovely. They also stock the best chocolate in the world here, which is Bouja Bouja truffles if you're ever looking for a real treat like for christmas or something these are so so good i like the 
um, hazelnut ones. Not these though, I have to say. I'm not a fan of the champagne ones. Obviously we'll have to get Rue a little treat as well. Turkey and cranberry dog treats. They're quite festive, she might need them. Right, just gonna have a very, very quick look in Holland Cooper and then we better head over to Waitrose. Okay, slight change of plan because they wouldn't let Rue inside Holland Cooper so if Rue can't go, then um, I'm not gonna go, um, which is such a shame, but never mind. So I think we're just gonna head straight back home now and then pop out a little bit later to get the bits we need from Waitrose. We had a really lovely time at Dunkerton's actually. So if you are local and you haven't been yet, or even if you haven't been since it's kind of all Christmassy, I would definitely recommend it. There's a really big kind of covered area now, which mum says, is extended for the winter and it's really really nice that i can't believe it's taken me this long um to go and see it for myself because mum and dad have been telling me for ages that i'd really like it and they were so right and the food was really good and the salads from the deli were also really good so would definitely recommend picked up a few bits um just from the dalesford range inside that little farm shop there I don't think we got anything that I haven't already shown you. Got some cranberry sauce for Christmas dinner and bits like that and some nice treats for Ruby. I think I showed you all of that. And then when we were in town today, mum and I actually picked up matching hats. Mum is going to attempt to unstitch these NY badges that are on the front of the hats because we really like the overall print on them and the fit of them. I'm not going to give myself hat hair by putting it on actually, I've only just got my hair back after wearing the beanie all day. Um, but anyway, I'm about to head out now to Waitrose to pick up some bits to make some dinner. So I thought I'd bring you along to Waitrose and we can have a bit of a browse. Um, shall I get some mince pies, mum? Some of those nice ones. Yes, that's a big yes from mum. That's a big thumbs up. I could never have too many mince pies at this time of year. We had one earlier as well, but there is only one month of the year where you really have mince pies. So you've got to make the most. Anyway, let's head to Waitrose. most delicious, fennelly, slightly spicy, just yummy M&S dupe pasta sauce. Brown rice pasta, or really pasta of choice, but I always go for brown rice pasta, or sometimes I go for red lentil pasta, but if it's your first time trying it, definitely use the brown rice pasta because it's the most like real pasta. I would say that red lentil pasta has a very, very different texture. So brown rice pasta. Then all you need is a can of plum tomatoes. I've actually tried this with fresh tomatoes and I found it was nicer with plum tomatoes. So I'd probably just stick with a can. Then you need fennel seeds, celery salt, and chili flakes or chili paste. We use chili paste at home, but I just got some chili flakes. Then I always throw in some chickpeas just to get some extra kind of protein, fiber, and all of that good stuff. And then whatever veggies you wanna throw in. So today I just got a bag of spinach because we've eaten um, a big salad at lunch. So I feel like we've had our fill of veggies. And then I just asked mum who has very kindly chopped up some onion and garlic. I don't know why this is beeping on me. I must have something on it. However, I would say if you're having a really, really lazy evening and you can't be bothered with this part, if you just put some garlic granules in or something, it will probably still be just as good this is my go-to quick easy dinner and it's really really good mum can i get my sous chef in here and then we'll make dinner oh also i wanted to show you i got these two dog foods for rue they were new and i just needed something because we're obviously away from home so we can't do the home cooked stuff um and i've never seen these before this is a chicken one this is a lamb one and they have in them things like chia seeds linseeds hemp seeds and loads of really good stuff. So I'm gonna try her with that now.
one portion. Whereas obviously when you make it for two, I'm not very good at fine at doubling up the big ingredients, but things like seasoning, I don't think I'm very good at. You know, I don't know how much. You just go like roughly. You don't measure. You don't oh, I never measure. No, and I know roughly what works. just finished dinner hopefully you saw how easy it is to make it's literally a one pot kind of dish because I normally boil the pasta and then drain it and then just cook all the rest of the stuff in the same pasta pot um, so it really is a one pot super easy lazy dinner and it's still so good the only thing to watch is that you don't overcook your brown rice pasta because I may have done that a little bit today it's actually really hard not to overcook it because it cooks so quickly and then it obviously cooks in its own steam when it's kind of um been drained and then strained drained strained um and then when you mix the sauce back in it cooks even more so you need to kind of only put it in the boiling water for a couple of minutes um and then that should probably be perfect by the end of the whole process but anyway i'm about to jump in the shower this hair definitely needs a good wash before tomorrow we've got another full day of fun tomorrow i think we're gonna head over to dalesford because i have not yet been to dalesford since it's been all kind of Christmasified. Christmas, that's so not a word. I'm really tired. Christmas of Chris, what word would that even be? Basically, since they decorated it for Christmas, shower, blow dry my hair, have a mince pie, and actually catch up on a few Vlogmases that I want to watch this year because I've not had a chance to watch anyone's videos yet. But I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. I hope that you're feeling in the festive spirit, and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye, guys.